The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network on the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman head softball coach Michael Graves. Uh, Graves, a wild one today. Uh, you've always said you'd rather win uh, ugly than lose pretty. Uh, and one pretty clean in game one, a fairly solid, complete game effort. Uh, in a 7-3 win to start the doubleheader against Tusculum. But then, oh, only the uh, biggest comeback in school history. You let eight free bases come in to score for Tusculum, but you rally and pull off a wild eight-inning win in the night cap, 13-12. Uh, to, to What did you see out of this team today? Once again, obviously never quit, and the offense continues. It's crazy good pace that it's been at all season. Yeah, we never quit. Uh, second game, we talked in between innings, uh, even the second, third, and fourth inning when we went scoring, you know. Hey, we'll get there, just uh, try to hold them close on D. Uh, I know we'll score, and we've just got to uh, uh, take batter by batter. you got one job to do, find a way to get on base. And uh, it finally clicked there in the fifth inning. Uh, at the end of game one, you know, in between games, I told them, that uh, I didn't think we played real good in game one. I, we didn't play bad, but I just didn't think we played good. And I went to play better in game two. And then the first four innings, I didn't think we played too good in game two. And then, um, I don't know, it's it's like a light bulb clicks, and there you go. Uh, Sierra Rogers, instrumental in the circle. A little dinged up, some nicks and bruises uh, for your pitching staff. Haley Leslie got her first career start. Uh, but uh, Sierra Rogers got the ball for the majority of both games uh, and was highly effective. Uh, she's been wild at times in her career, but uh, kept Tusculum off balance with 219 pitches. What did you see from your sophomore? Uh, a lot of heart. Uh, you know, when she gets on the mound like that, she really wants to uh, perform for her teammates, and I thought she was exceptional in game one. She made one bad pitch, and uh, – you know, she'd like to have that one back, but I'll take the end results. In game two, you know, she came back in, tough situation, uh, had a bad inning, but uh, she just kept going and going and going for us. So that's all I can ask for. Uh, you said a light, uh, and somebody flicked the switch in the fifth inning. Was there a moment where you thought, okay, uh, the train's back on the tracks, let's see what happens? I think the bottom part of the lineup, Carmen, Mary, Abby, they started finding ways to get on base, whether, uh, you know, they got to put a couple of good bats on balls, but then they took some walks, too, where they didn't chase. And I kept saying, hey, we're getting out of our element. We're chasing balls out of the zone. Let's go back to we want to own the zone. And I think those three were instrumental in getting it started. Uh, Macy Hughes uh, finished just about everything today. Uh, eight runs batted in through the doubleheader. Uh, she's kind of been asked to do different things this year compared to last year, you know, hitting behind. Uh, Cameron and Natalie Corbin and Emily Harris and Leah Sohn. And she's that get on and score type of player. But today was her day to drive in runs. What did you see out of your junior first baseman? Uh, Macy's a tremendous hitter. You know, she hadn't hit the long balls that she's hit in the past, but she's hit the ball hard and stuff. So um, when, when she doesn't chase, and she, we talked uh, a couple innings prior to the end of the game there, I think she asked me what I thought, you know, she was doing and stuff. And I said, hey, just go back to the zone. Only swing at something that you can handle. And uh, the kid's good. I mean, she hits the ball really, really well. So, uh, You turn your attention to senior day. Emory and Henry comes in, a really scrappy club who uh, isn't eligible for the SAC tournament championship this season but has proved that they belong uh, in the league as a softball team this year. What do you have to do to get ready for senior day and the Wasps on Saturday? Uh, go back to the things that's helped us get here. I, I said after the two games we were talking – We've got to be better in the circle. We've got to control the circle. We can't make errors on defense. We've got to be in charge of the strike zone when we're at the plate. And if we do those three things, we're, we're tough to beat. So we've got to focus on that, and I've got to research Emory and Henry because, to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about them. They're new, and we haven't played them a lot in the past, and I know we haven't played them in several years. So, But Jake's a good coach. They'll be good. All right, Michael Graves, thanks for the time. Congrats on two wild ones here today at the Vic. Thank you. It's Carson Newman, head softball coach Michael Graves. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagles Sports Network.